commitment to one person forever has always been a hard pill to swallow. Mainly because I don't believe the human brain is conditioned for monogamy and government is designed to capitalize on human conditions. But even with all that in place, I knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with Nick mentally, emotionally, and physically. Even after death, onto our afterlives. And the fact that he was able to challenge and overcome all these obstacles in my beliefs, I simply knew that the certification of our marriage would not be a mistake. As I was getting ready, all I could think about was that I couldn't believe by the end of the day because you and I were going to be married. The closer the ceremony got, the more and more excited I got. You want to know why I love Kajur so much. For me, I don't know how I couldn't love her. From her smile, to her laugh, her persistent nature, how she loves so passionately those around her, how she'll do anything for her family, her selflessness, her giving nature. She makes me a better person and pushes me to excel. She can always make me smile no matter how bad my day was or what kind of mood I'm in. Uh, everything feels right when I'm around her. And whenever we're apart, I just feel like I'm missing a piece of myself. I don't just love her with all my heart and soul. I love her because she is a part of my heart and soul. As Kajua started to walk out, I thought I was going to throw up. I was so excited. I also just couldn't believe it was happening. It all felt so surreal. From the time that I was getting ready to when I exited that back door towards the gazebo and saw him standing there, every soul of my being told me that we were going to be okay. She looked so beautiful walking down the aisle. I couldn't help but smile. All I could think about was how lucky I was and I hope she doesn't change her mind and again, Nick, don't screw up. Despite being so nervous to the point of being nauseated about rolling my ankles in my five and a half inch heels, I kept my heart focused on him. I guess you could say I had a Mr. Big moment from Sex in the City. I just wanted him to lock eyes with me, to remind me in that moment that this was just about us and only us. And it was, from the very beginning till the very end. For that, I was reminded why I have and will always love him.